I'm here with the new Guardian Eyewitness app for the iPad. The Eyewitness series was introduced almost five years ago in the Guardian newspaper as a double page spread photograph. I don't think there's anything like it really in the British press and possibly in, in, in the world press that features such a large photograph every day. It's something that's always in the back of your mind when you're on jobs to think, will this work as an eyewitness? So this is a good example of a classic eyewitness picture for me. There's lots going on, there's lots to look at. And we sometimes call this the Where's Wally picture, where you can spend ages trying to pick out particular people or details. And then here we have a portrait of a Sudanese woman, which is much less classic for the eyewitness series, but works, works great on this screen. You've got all the lovely texture and detail of the markings on the woman's face. And I think this picture really shows very well the differences in a way between what the, the, the screen of the iPad does and what the limitations sometimes would be on, on print. You kind of worry that the quality of light wouldn't come through so much on printed newspaper, but, but here with the, with the backlit screen, it really jumps out at you. So this picture works really well as a, as a news picture. It was taken in early morning light in, in Devon uh, when the ship, the MSC Napoli, ran aground and spilt most of its cargo on the beach and this huge fire erupted at the far end of the beach and all this black smoke started billowing into the sky and it was a real apocalyptic feel to the scene. This is a picture I took of men queuing to see a cricket match at Lords last year. It's great to get pictures like that in the eyewitness, things that aren't planned and aren't carefully created like some of the other ones. The guy's looking directly at the camera and he's just become aware of me at the point that I'm taking the picture, which is also the point that he's blowing his nose. But it's really nice, it's really nice to have that connection with, with, with a person in the photograph in this sense. As a photographer, it's really nice to be able to see all, all the recent eyewitnesses in, in one easy format. Usually you might have to kind of start thumbing through mountains of newspapers, but here you have them all in one place, so it's a, a really manageable set. 